When you're halfway through a challenge and you think that you just blew it, like falling off a log, just get up and don't poo poo it. Adventure's loads of fun, seize them and pursue it. Take that leap of faith, find the will and do it. We can do it, we can do it. There's really nothing to it with help from our friends to work our own way through it. We can do it, we can do it. We can really do it. We've got the skill, just have the will and do it. Do it, true friends help can come in many shapes and sizes, especially when that friend is me, a master of disguises. We can do it, we can do it. There's really nothing to it. With help from our friends to work our own way through it. We can do it, we can do it. We can really do it. We've got the skill, just have the will. We've got the skill, just have the will. And do it! Business, but you have a big orange chunk of big orange chunk on your shell. That? It's for Zipper. What is it? It's cheese. Zipper helped me clean up my shell, so I'm giving her a present. You can get a present just for that? I love presents. Who doesn't? There's nothing like getting a present. Nothing else could be so pleasant. Guess what's in it? You try and shake it. Just be careful. Sometimes can't convey. It's good to give a friend a lift. And many reasons to give that special gift. Like maybe cause it's your birthday. Maybe cause you just wanna say. I think of you in a very special way. Yes, a present can say what words just sometimes can't convey. Like I know the things that make you smile. Cause you're a friend and I know your style. A present can say what words just sometimes can't convey. And here's a tip you got to believe. It's as much fun to give as it is to receive. Will, you've got company. Sam's here. Pass it! I'm all alone! Looks. He sees Will. He unloads. Wow. I didn't know you could throw so far. I'm going to be a professional quarterback when I grow up. You think you can? Sure, because I'm going to make it my birthday wish. Now go deep. Uh, you might want to wish for a new ball, too. <laughs> Pesky kids. Can't they play somewhere else? And no, running on the football is easier than falling off a log, no? You're so lucky. Nah, I knew we'd find the ball in the grotto. Not the ball. I mean, you have all these great pets. They're not my pets, they're my friends. I wish I could have an animal friend. And I wish I could throw a football as good as you. Nothing to it. Just aim and fire. Will, Sam's mom's here. Time to go home. Thanks for letting me come over. I almost forgot. Here, it's an invitation to my birthday party. Look, Mom. Oh, thanks, Will. We'll put it on the fridge. I've got work to do, Mom. I've got to find Sam the perfect present. See ya. Extra, extra, read all about it. Stop the presses, stop the presses. Hold the front page. Have you read this? Mm-hmm. Good, then read it to me. <laughs> I forgot my reading glasses. What's all this, Will? It's for Sam's birthday. Well, who wouldn't want a pile of old newspapers? No, they're ads and catalogs. And I'm going to find Sam the best present ever. Then Mom and I will go to the store and buy it for him. This is perfect. I'd love one of these. Uh, what is it? It's a pogo stick. 
Ah, for fighting off the dreaded pogo. I fought one once. They're sneaky. They only come at night and in the morning and afternoon. That's what makes them so dangerous. No, oh, do it. A pogo stick is something you bounce on. Around here, we call them legs. Okay, what about this? That's a scooter. I want one. I want one. Why would I want one? Well, it helps you get around. Like if I had to get away from a French chef chasing me with garlic and butter? I've got it! I've got it! You caught a pogo? Stay there! I'll get my stick! So, what are we getting Sam? Oh, he'll love that! Yeah, that's a mighty fine presenting in that little porker. That's not his present, it's my piggy bank. I'm going to buy Sam's present with the money inside. He got that fat eating money? <laughs> Pretty rich diet, I'd say. I've got to get my money out. No, you can't. He has so much to live for. Come on, do it. Sure, today it's money you want. But if tomorrow it's cookies you want, are you going to open up the cookie jar? Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, can you come down here, please? I'll be back in a sec. Trust me. Get out while you can. I was just getting my money to buy Sam the best present ever. About that present, Will. It's going to be a genuine, authentic replica just like the pros wear football helmet. You'll love it, so we've got to get to the store. Will, take a look at the invitation. You see? It says no store-bought presents. Handmade presents only. There's no such thing. Oh, there goes the football helmet. I have to come up with a present for Sam without buying him one. No need to buy a football helmet. We can just make one. Nice try, but I don't think so. How about flowers? Flowers? Nah, Sam already has a Venus flytrap. What's that? It's this plant that eats bugs. There are plants that eat bugs? Mm-hmm. Hey, only frogs are supposed to eat bugs. How would those plants like it if I ate their dirt? Maybe I could give them... What's that thing you put flowers in? A vase? <laughs> I was thinking of a stomach. But a vase is good, too. Got one? No. Then we can make one. Well, so far, so good. Not so good. This isn't working out like I thought. to Sam's party. Why not? I don't have a present. I tried, but I can't make him a football helmet or a... You know, sometimes a present doesn't have to be a regular present. Huh? Well, doesn't Sam like oatmeal raisin cookies? Are you kidding? He loves them. Oh, but we can't buy any for him. <laughs> no, but you could make some. I could? I could! Are they ready yet? Try? Wouldn't want Sam to eat a bad one. They're too hot now. We'll just leave them here to cool while you get cleaned up for the party. Hey, when do we get to make fly flavored cookies? Nothing says partay like water spider snaps. Okay, I'm ready. Let's just get the. Huh? They're gone! I'm all over this case like pond scum on lily pads. I know you saw something now. Spill! Hey! They haven't built the pickle jar yet that could hold me. Hey, any more of those yummy cookies? Boy, those cookies were good. Any more? More cookies. You ate all my cookies? Not all. They ate some too. Great. Just great. Now I've got nothing for Sam. Some friend I am. We're not giving in yet. How about this? A pogo stick. Homemade. Except you're not part of the present. And without you, it's just a stick. And I'm not gonna give away my best friend. I'm your best friend? Aww. 
Excuse me, I don't suppose you could use another best friend, could you? Not so fast, Tadpole. You don't just get to be a best friend. There's a secret handshake. Well, it's just that now that I have arms and legs, the other tadpoles can't keep up with me. So I have to go everywhere alone. Psst. Well, over here. Two things. First, why can't he be Sam's best friend? You're right. Sam even said he wanted an animal friend. What's the second thing? Could you maybe untie me? I know somebody who would love to have you as a best friend. Interested? This is the best not store bought handmade present there ever was. Couldn't have done it without you, do it. Do it. One cup of dried fruit fly. So, how was the party, Will? Sam loved getting Tadpole as a present. Now he's got a best friend, like I do. Yes, there's nothing like giving a present. Nothing else could be so pleasant to give a friend a special gift. Gives both of you an extra lift. It's easy to slough it off, although... A thoughtful effort is worth it, you know. Cause a present can say what words just sometimes can't convey. And here's a tip you gotta believe. It's much fun to give as it is to receive. Bedtime story. Oh, oh, read the one about the three cats and the fuzzy pillow they think is another cat. I read you that one three times last week. Back off, cat. I'm a pillow. <laughs> Nothing like the classics. We can get other books, you know. Other than these? How do we find these rare jewels? Do we fly to Novel Island at midnight on a magical camel with wings? <laughs> This up's fuel, this one's wiper fluid. We don't have to go on a magic journey. We just need Mom or Dad to drive us to the library. And the bat said... Ow! Can you drive me to the library tomorrow? Oh, good idea. We can all go. Fred was asking how a jet engine works. I'm sure they have a book on that. And we can find one for Kate that doesn't have a bat screaming. Great! Hey, guys! Guess where I'm going! Oh, 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 don't tell me! Do they have astronauts there? Yes, sort of. Do they have wheat? I love wheat! Absolutely! Give us a hint! What letters are in it? Actually, every letter there is. Probably every word there is. Give up? It's the library! They have books about everything! Oh, even books about different kinds of bugs? Brent, those are menus! From underground to outer space, from far away to in your face, from a book this thick to a magazine, and every thickness in between, everything from me to Z is in the library! Pictures of the ocean's tides. And maps and charts and more besides. Books on jugglers, school bell ringers. Firemen, cowboys, cooks, and singers. Everything from A to Z is in the library. And every job that ever could be is in the library. I wish I had a library card. I'd write a book about your yard. I'd put it under scenery or places that I'd like to be. Everything that eats or walks or races, flies or swims or talks. Everything from A to Z is in the library. Oh, I hope they have the new Emily Gallagher mystery novel. If I can find the right engine repair manual, I might be able to fix our old lawnmower. They have books about every single possible thing at the library, don't they? Pretty well. I think I'll get something on trains. I have a list of things I'm looking for. Books about edible mountains, a banjo playing dinosaur named Thackeray. Hi. A pop-up book with pictures of trumpet players' cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Here's junior literature.
Fred's taking Kate to story time. Come find us when you've got something you like. Uh, 30 minutes, okay? 30 minutes is plenty of time. Hello? 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 This is bigger than the Grand Canyon, but with fewer mules. <laughs> Yo, lay <laughs> it's hard to know what a book's about from just the edge. Oh, this one's on dinosaurs. <laughs> Growl, roar, and all that stuff. Hi, do you know anything about trains? Trains, trains. Oh, are they those huge ones with the big teeth and the teeny tiny little legs up front? That's a T-Rex. Trains have wheels. You don't know a dinosaur named Thackeray, do you? About Yay Tall plays the banjo. <laughs> Ooh, nice thumbs. They must make it easy to pick stuff up. And text message. It takes me forever. What kind of dinosaur are you? You don't know me. People came way after dinosaurs. Well, there are numbers on the edges of these books. I think they mean something. Say, Jesusaurus. <laughs> to show my friends. Uh, bye! Let's try the next aisle. It's tough to tell what the books are about without pulling them out. Plus, you have to turn your head like this to read them. These have numbers on them, too. And in this aisle, they're higher numbers. I don't think that means anything. The titles are what's important. How about this one? Avast and ahoy! Take the wheel! Aye, aye, Captain! Where will we be setting a course for, matey? I'm looking for a train book, actually. Oh, trains, eh? Be there rich passengers on these trains? Or gold or silver bullion? They have silverware in the dining car. Whoa! Is the tea ready or are we under attack? The King's men! Abandon ship! Women, children, and frogs first! Only 20 minutes left. Oh, where are the trains? Don't! If I'm going to find a train book, I've got to keep looking. Cool. This one's about other planets. That'll be four Grundlicks. Pardon me? Planetary visitors fee, four Grundlicks for you, and a small green handsome kid gets him free. Hey, the man. I don't have any Grundlicks. I'm from Earth, looking for a book on trains. Don't have trains here. Instead, we've got the mangy bork Snap Snap. What's that? Dreadful thing. Grabs you under the armpits, right? Flings you to the next town. Oh, we don't have time for that. We're in a hurry. Here we go. Say hello to me sister, will you? Ooh, snap! Whoa! Uh, well, as much as I like being on sinking ships and getting flung in the air by aliens, the numbers on these books... Probably just the number of times people have read it. Trains, trains, where are you? This looks like a good one. The Old West! I think you could use a little do-it help. Let me just check something. Is this a stagecoach? You betcha. Where are you headed, mister? I'm looking for trains. Oh, next one don't come through for nigh on three weeks. Three weeks? I'm supposed to meet my mom and dad in ten minutes. Do it! Well, Sheriff, do it quick, because of the bandits. <laughs> sure was good at frog marching them bad guys out of town, no? There's bandits? Yep, after the gold on the roof of this here stagecoach. <laughs> oh, that'll be them now. Uh, if you guys will excuse me, my friend do it, not the Sheriff, was telling me something about numbers on the edges of books. Do it! Halo bandits, come with me! I found something I think you should see. No time! I think you ought to hear this. There's something called the Dewey Decimal System. Do it? Dewey, no relation. Every book topic has a number from one to a thousand. 
Knights and castles, 940. Egyptian hieroglyphics, 490. Frogs are 596. <laughs> I always thought we were number one. So trains are 385? The books are in order. You just have to find the 300s and then the 380s and then... I've got it! 380, 385 trains. Why don't we wait to open it until we're in the car? There you are. Looks like everybody got what they wanted. Sure did. Oh, yeah, the sequel. Four kittens and a pillow. This book is great. Jet engines are really complicated. More screaming bats. Airplanes, section 629. Mammals, 599. How's your train book, Will? Very full of facts. Did you know books and libraries are organized with the Dewey Decimal System? <laughs> really? Tell us all about that. It goes from 1 to 999. Number one is books about knowledge. Though it should be frogs. And then, the four little kittens realized even though the pillow wasn't another kitten, they could still have fun with him. <laughs> Even better than the three little kittens and the pillow. Everything from me to Z is in the library. From trains and planes and bicycles. From hot chocolate to icicles. From things that blast to things that bleed. And wheat, wheat, and then more wheat. Everything goes.